What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to learn how to extend files with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to learn how to template websites apart and extend files. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have over 40 courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for one time via just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so we're building out our Flask website here, and we've got a, a couple of pages. We've got a home page and a about page, and we've got this nav bar at the top. And... A common theme in any sort of web development is breaking apart things in your website that are common for every single page. So, you know, think of any website you've ever seen. They all have a header and a nav bar at the top. They all have footer sections at the bottom. And those two things are always, almost always, the exact same on every single page of the website. So you don't want code for those pages on every single page of your website. You want to break those things into their own files and then just call them on every single page of your website. Because otherwise, I mean, think about it. If we head over to our code now, and we look at our about page, we see this nav bar code. And there's, there's a link here and a link here, and then there's another link up here. And so if we wanted to change this or we wanted to add a new one, we'd have to come down here and, you know, add a new one. Then we'd have to go over to our index page, and we'd have to go to the nav bar code there. And we'd have to find, okay, there's a link, there's a link, there's another link. And then we'd have to come down here and add that other link again. And that's fine right now. We've got two web pages. But you might have 50 web pages on your website. You might have 100. You might have 1,000. I've had websites that had tens of thousands of pages. And if I wanted to make a change to the nav bar at the top of every, every page, it would have taken a lifetime to do if I had to change those links on every single one of those tens of thousands of web pages. So instead, we want to break these things, these common things apart into other files, and then just reference them. That way, we can make the change once in one file, and it'll be reflected on all the nav bars or whatever throughout our course. And if you're familiar with Django, we do this using something called extends. We extends a base file. Well, we can do the exact same thing with Flask. So a slightly different variation I'm going to talk about in a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same thing. So head over to our templates file, our templates directory. Now let's create a new file. And we can name this literally anything we want, but I'm just going to stick with the, the base.html convention like we use in Django. So if you've been following my Django courses, you're familiar with a base file. And then we just need to put, well, we need a couple of tags in here. We need to create a block tag. So we could go block, and then let's call this content. And then... I'm just going to copy this, and we need to end our block. Every tag we open, we need to end, so end block, right? So that goes there, and then inside of this base.html file, we need to put whatever we want to break apart from all the other pages. For instance, the nav bar code. So we could come over to any page. I'm just going to grab the about text, and then we want all this stuff at the top. We want the title. We want uh, the nav. And you can see here's the nav bar stuff, and here's the it ends the nav. So I'm just going to control C to copy this and delete it and bring it over to the HTML or the base.html file. And I'm just going to paste this in at the top here. Next, we need to put whatever we want below here, too. So I'm going to head back here. And we don't want this stuff, but we do want all of this stuff. Now, this is the stuff that's primarily going to be on the footer of a of a web page. You know, we got our JavaScript references and all that stuff. So I can copy this and delete it and bring it back to the base.html file and paste it in. So if we save this, that's really all we have to do to the base.html file. But now we need to grab these two tags and put them on each page where we want to extend this file. So I'm just going to come up here to the top here and paste. And we want to copy the end block code and put it below, right? So what we're doing here is we're saying everything between these two tags, right? We want to kind of pull out of this file and put them right here between these two tags on our base.html file. So we need to do this same exact thing for our index page. So we can just come through here and delete all of this stuff. 
paste in that, and then get rid of the bottom stuff as well. And again, we want to kind of do it like this. Now we're almost done here. We also need to tell our Flask program that, hey, we're gonna be extending the base file. So to do that, we just use the extends and then quotation marks base.html. Just name that file, right? And when this needs to go at the top of every page where we wanna extend our base. So our about page, our index page, etc. So, okay, let's save this and head back over to our website and reload and see if this worked. And it looks like we didn't get any errors. So it seems to have worked, but we can't really be sure, right? We have to make a change in order to be sure. So let's say we wanna add another link to our homepage or to our, our nav bar. So we just go to our base.html and we find wherever we want. And here's our about, here's our home. Let's just copy this and create a, another one. And we'll just create a fake one and call it contact. All right. And if we save this and come back here to our, our homes or our website and hit reload, boom, now we see this link. If we go to the home page, it, it's there too. Go to the about page. On every page of our, of our website now, this contact link is gonna appear, which tells us that, hey, woohoo, this whole extending base thing worked, right? So I'm gonna get rid of that link because we don't have a contact page right now. Uh, so that is fun. So, okay, so let's go back to the website real quick and I wanna look at something here. So if we go to our about page, our title is about John Elder. If we go to our homepage, it's John Elder's blog. And remember, we talked about titles in the last couple of videos. And if we go here, we could see up here we have this title tag code. And this works because in our sort of controller file, our app.python, we designated what the title was for each of these things. So if on our home page we got rid of this, you know, if we just took that out and then took this out too. Now there is no title. So if we look at our base.html, we can see the logic says if a title exists, output the title, otherwise just make it John Elder. So if we come back here and hit reload, we see now it says John Elder up there. If we go to the about page, it still says about John Elder because that title, that page has a title tag, right? So that's cool. It's, it's really very kind of interesting that we can pass in variables into our base.html file. And even though the pages that it's pulling in the about page, the index page may be different, this variable will still work if that variable was sort of designated on our app.py page, right? So that is definitely one way you can do that. And it's important because when you use a base.html, you need some way to change things on each page that are gonna be different on each page. So each page will have a different title but we have the same code for our base.html. So, you know, that's a, an interesting way to fix this, but it's kind of problematic. Why? Well, because right here we're adding content. This is sort of our controller file. I call it our controller file. It's the app.py file, it's our server file, it's whatever you want to call it. It's the kind of the logic of our app. And generally you want to break your app apart from logic to views, to database. That's what the MVC architecture is, model view controller. Well, here we're mixing view stuff in our controller stuff, and that's not always the best thing to do. So another way we can do this, instead of uh, using variables on our controller page and putting actual site content on there, instead we could just go to the base.html file and we can get rid of all of this title code and we can use another uh, content block. So we can go block, and instead of content, like we did uh, down here, we can name this something else. We can call it block title. And we can then close our block, like we always need to do, and block. Now, inside of here, we can say uh, generic title, whatever, and save this. Now, on each page, we can come up to the top here, and create our own 
block title tag. And then, of course, we want to end our block. All right. And inside of here, we can put whatever we want. So we can put welcome to John Elder's website. All right. So if we save this and check it out, we can come back here and hit reload. Now it says welcome to John Elder's website. If we go to the about page, though, it just says generic title. Why? Because on our home or on our about page, we didn't put a block title tag, right? See right up here, we didn't put a block title tag. So, and since we didn't put one, it's just gonna use whatever we put here in the base.html file. If we did put a block title tag, then this, whatever is here, gets overwritten by whatever's you know designated as the block title on each page. So that's really a better way to sort of break apart stuff that you want separate for each page by using these block tags. And I use block title. You can literally name this anything you want. You can name this block John, right? It doesn't matter. It's not the title thing that's important here. It's the block tag. So you can name it anything you want. And as long as it, the title here, whatever you name it, is the same as whatever you name it here, then you're fine. You can name it absolutely anything. And you can use these for titles. You can use this for uh, meta tags, meta description tags, SEO. Google uses meta description tags for each page and meta description tags go in your head section, which is right here, right? Here's the head section. So, you know, this is on base.html. So you don't want the same meta description on every single site. So you would create a block meta description tag for every page, et cetera. And like I said, the reason why we this is better than using variables like this is because this is content, right? This is view content. And as much as we can, we want to keep that stuff on our view pages, on our HTML pages, and not on our you know controller page here, our app.py page. This works. You can do it like this. It's just sloppier that way, and it's just not the convention to do it that way. So that is extending base. Before we go, I want to talk about one more thing very quickly, and that is links. If we head back over to our base.html file, and we come down here to our links here, you can see we're just creating regular hard-coded links. Here's the forward slash to go to the home page. Here's the slash about to go to the about page. And that's fine. That works. But it's better to use Flask URLs in order to do this. And we do the same thing with Django. We create a Django URL tag. Well, we're going to use a uh, URL for tag with Flask. And I'll just show you how to do this really quickly. We just come in here and it's double brackets and it's just URL underscore four and then it's a function and then you just pass whatever controller class you want. So uh, here we want a link to the about page. So we're, we're calling about. Why are we calling about? Because we come back over to our controller. That's what this function is called about, right? We want this function which goes with this route, right? So if we save this file, uh, the base.html file, and then come back to our website and hit reload and click the about page, it still goes to about, and that's cool, right? It's just better that we do this. So let's really quickly change the home one too. I'm just gonna copy all of this. And instead of about, this is the home. And we can just confirm that because actually, no, this is called index, right? So we need to change this to index. And then the same thing right here for this link. Index. Now let's save this and run it just to make sure. Hit reload. Home page. About. Home. About. Okay, so that works. Now, why is this important? Well, because for the same reason why we want to break things apart into templates, because we, if we want to make a change to our app later on, we don't have to want to have to make this change all over the place where our links are. For instance, if we decided to change the architecture of our website to about.html, we want all of our links going there. Well, now it, it's not found, right? But if we just come back over to our controller, we can quickly make that change just to call this .html. And if we make this change here, since we're using Flask URL for tags, Oops, we can come back to our home page. And now if we click the about link, it goes to about.html where just a second ago that didn't even exist, right? So nothing's changed in our app. The page is still the same. We're still getting this about me stuff and this uh, 
Python list stuff that we did in the last video. But now the structure of our URL has changed because we made that change one time right here. And I'm going to change this back because I don't want to keep it like that. But since we used these URL for tags for our links, it updates dynamically for us. So that's just, you know, a good thing to do. It's important to do it like that whenever you're creating URLs with Flask. And super easy. I mean, why not just do it like this, right? It's just easy. So that's how to extend a base file or any file. That's how to create block code, block titles, block content. That's how to create URLs. And that's pretty much all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out and I really appreciate. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 80,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.